We joke you know. that we're probably the first people to bring stumps back into Tacoma ever. <laughs> At Cider and Cedar, husband and wife team Sterling and Mia Paradiso hope customers will learn to appreciate a really good tree. Like the kind that blossom in the springtime before growing bitter heirloom apples that produce what was, for most of our country's history, the alcoholic beverage of choice. Cider is, at its most basic, fermented apples. The popularity of this Tacoma tap house is proof that there's been a resurgence, a cider boom, if you will, especially in the Northwest, with well over 80 craft cideries now in Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia. We're not bound by tradition in our cider making and so there's a lot of room for experimentation and play cider and cedar has another reason you'll appreciate a good tree the interior design this is all salvaged cedar old growth from a 1960s clear cut in the ho rainforest we thought it would be cool to give it a second life in here sterling hauled the wood out himself and transformed these giant pieces into wondrous works of art you can call cider and cedar a tap room but it is also a tree bar that will make you appreciate the best trees have to offer. And when they leave the woods, if you feel like you've left them too soon, then you pop in here for a drink. And <laughs> nice way to end a hike. Yeah. Another thing customers love about this place is the food. Chef Chris has come up with a menu that's kind of the exact opposite of what you usually would find in a bar, like bows. They're very small, very approachable, and very delicious. 